Hey guys, this is part 3 of my Ultron Minecraft Pixel tutorial, and I came back recently, and I saw the progress that we've made so far. Not a lot of progress, and I had you waiting a long time for this part 3, so why don't we just jump right into this. I might go a little fast just for the sake of actually finishing this this month. So, we're going to start off... I'm not sure which block we're going to start off. Let's start off with... Du, 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 du. I want to finish this part, so we'll start off with maybe the black wool. I don't I don't remember where I last left off. It, it's been that long. I feel ashamed of myself. So, we're going to start off with the black wool. And... Just to give you a heads up, we're going to go a little fast. Just a little fast. Not Nothing crazy. But the pause button might be your best friend. So, we're going to start here on the right side, and let's find these five black wolves. I don't think it should be too hard to find. They're making contact with these five blocks that are going up. So, starting from the left side of the five, so starting from this block, underneath it, I should say. So, starting from, whoops, <laughs> starting from there, we're just going to add two black wolves going down, so that's one, two. And now starting underneath these two black walls, so starting from there, you're going to be adding four blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now let's start on the right block of the four blocks across. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. And now, what we're going to do, because I'm still completely lost with all of this, have been t haven't been actually on this for a while, uh, we're going to, let's say, move back up here to the five blocks going across, where we started from, and starting from the left block, so from that block there, you're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the left side. So that's seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to switch over to the coal block, and we're going to switch to the placement block as well, and place one placement block on the right side of that black wall there, the top block, and switch to the coal block, or just uh, coal block. And starting on top of the placement block, you're going to place eight blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's head back over here. And starting from the right block of the eight coal blocks, so from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right, so that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place one block going up on the right, and that's one. And it should be making contact with these 16 black walls, and there should be like two block spaces here from the from the top block of the 16. So it should look like this, with two blocks short from the top block, so it should look like that. Alright, now we're going to, let's say, move back over here to the left side of the eight black walls. So switching back to the coal block, starting from the left side. So from that block, you're going to place 19 blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 19 blocks. Let's get rid of that, and I do recommend uh, sometimes pausing the video, or at least counting out loud, so you don't miscount. Alright, so now what you're going to be doing is place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. And now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you're going to be placing five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 
one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to be placing a linked five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Hopefully you understand what a linked block is by now. So place five linked. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to be placing a linked four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a weird placement block there. So now that we have the seven, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to go ahead and switch back to the black wool. Now with the black wool starting from the bottom block on the left side of these two coal blocks, so starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now comes for the moment of truth. You're going to be placing one block going down on the left. That's one. And it should be making contact with these, I believe it was four blocks here that went up. And these are two blocks going across. So it should look like that. It should be making contact with these black walls here. All right, now, starting from this one black wool that we just placed, you're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. Now place two sets of fours going down on the right side. Two sets of fours on the right. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. So that's two sets of fours. And now you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now let's head back over here to the bottom block of these four blocks going down. That was part of the two sets of fours. So going back to the bottom block of the four here, so starting from that point again, you're going to be placing this time two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. Now place one block going down on the left. And that's one. So it should look like that so far. Now you're going to switch to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of the black wool here. And switch back over to the black wool, starting underneath the placement block, you're going to place five blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to move to the left block of the five here, and starting underneath the left block of it, of the five, so starting from there, underneath it, you're going to be adding 14 blocks going across to the left now a lot of people always ask me or sometimes ask me i should say uh why do i do this why do i keep placing blocks breaking them like this well this is just to show you where i'm going to be placing the blocks or where the first block is going to start or maybe when i'm trying to indicate uh what block you're going to be starting from so that's why i, I do that over and over and over all right, so again, starting underneath the left block of the five blocks going across, so starting from that block there, just add 14 blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's 14. And I'll place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. Now we're just quickly going to switch over to the light gray wool and starting on top of the left block of the 14. So from there, just place two light gray wools going across to the right. So that's one and two with light gray wool. 
and switch back over to the black wool, starting on the right side of the light gray wool. Starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up on the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going up on the right side. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. Now starting from the top block on the right side of these two black walls, so starting from there, you're going to add two blocks going across to the right. So that's one and two. Now you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So, that's 1, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 2. And then finish it off by placing one block going down on the right side. That's 1. So, everything should look like this so far. Now we're going to move back over here, back to, let's say... I guess we can move back over here. Back to these five black walls going across that we had going to the right that started underneath the placement block that was there. So going back to these five black walls here, starting from the right block, that block there, you're going to place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. I place one block going up on the right side. That's one. And then from this one block, you're going to place eight blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of that placement block and let's head back over here. And I place one block going down on the right side. So that's one. Now, starting underneath this one black wall, so starting from there, you're going to be placing six blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place seven blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I said six, but I meant seven, so yeah, this is seven. So that was six blocks going across underneath that one black wool, and that's seven blocks going across to the left. So again, it should look like this. All right, now what we're going to do is, just for the future, might as well do this now. Switching over to the light gray wool, starting on the left side of the seven black wool. So starting from there, you're just going to add three blocks going up with the light gray wool. So that's one, two, and three. So it should look like that. All right, just as a measurement, that's the only reason why I placed the light gray wool here. I mean, it goes here with a bunch of other light gray wools and whatnot, but I just decided to place this here just to show you that this should be the exact distance. These black wools should be the exact distance from those. All right, so now we're going to switch over to the coal block, or block of coal. I like saying coal block instead of block of coal. But switching back to the coal block, heading back over here to this one black wool that we had, on top of these six here. So starting from that one black wool with the coal block, place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And then place one block going up on the right side. That's one. Now let's switch back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, starting from that coal block there, you're going to place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. And now, starting on top of these two black walls, so we're going to start from there, starting from there on top of them, you're going to add five blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place one block going up on the left. That's one. And now from this one block, you're going to place five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And it should be making contact with these four black wolves, so it should look like that. Now let's go back again to this one black wool here that we just finished placing only a few seconds ago. Going back to this one black wool. You're going to place 
three sets of threes going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And one, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes. And now place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one and two. And it should be making contact with the right block of these three black holes here. Alright, the outlining is coming along great. Why don't we continue it by, let's see... By the way, I just, this is the... Just to give you a heads up, we're going to work on the entire part of this. Everything below this black wool outline that I just created, and cold block, I guess you could say. We're going to work on this. We're going to fill this up, and just judging by portions, it looks like... This being one of them, This uh, it looks like there's about three more parts left of this pixel art tutorial. So this is going to be the th part three, and then part four will be the bottom half of his face, and then... Part 5 will be the entire top part, because there's a lot of details. You really can't tell just by judging the bottom part, because it's really the middle part of the entire pixel art. All this here has the most detail, including some of this here. All right, so we're going to switch over to what we were. We were with the black wool, so we're going to switch to the cold block. Now, with the cold block, we're going to fly back over here if we haven't filled this part in yet. No, I don't think we have. So, starting off with the cold block, to get to this location without you messing up, because I don't want you to mess this up, because I don't want you to have to waste all this time for nothing. So, with the cyan wool, starting it off first, we're going to find this one black wool that's making contact with these nine cold blocks here. We're going to start underneath this one black wool with the cyan, not wool, but cyan stained clay, I should say. Uh, you're going to place four blocks going down. I remember that being a problem. I was getting tired of saying cyan stained clay. All right, so place four. So that's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the, where is it? Coal. The block coal. I'm just going to call it coal. There's no reason to call it a, a block. So you already know what this is. This is coal. Switching to the coal. Starting underneath the four cyan walls, you're going to be placing six blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place nine blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just for the sake of it, let's go back over here. Let's switch over to the black wall. How to make this easier. Let's actually switch to the white wool. So switching over to the white wool, starting underneath the left block of the six coal blocks here. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two whites going across to the right. So that's one, two. Then switch over to the cyan and place one block underneath the left white. So that's one. By the way, I'm just going to call this cyan. I know I tried to come up with, what was it, C... C C S or something like trying to short it, then make it short. Uh, we're just gonna call this cyan. You should know that it's clay by now. So this is cyan and this is coal. All right. So now we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to place, or I should just say, starting underneath this uh, clay or cyan, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the uh, right. So that's one, two, and three. So it looks like that. It's a weird little thing, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. Because I know that's just a sore. Nice sore for me, at least. Alright, so let's switch back over to the coal. Let's go back on track. Heading back over here to the right block of the nine coals going across. So starting from that block there, you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's... Oops. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing one block going down on the right. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going down on the right. That's one. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. 
Now let's switch back over to the black wall, starting underneath the right block of the three coals here, starting from there. You're going to be placing seven blocks, I bl whoops, let's switch that. You're going to be placing, actually, not yet, I don't think we're going to switch back to the black wall. Let's, I'm getting ahead of myself, Felix, stop rushing, sorry. Alright, switching back to the coal, don't switch to the black, uh, switch back to the coal. Remaining with the coal, starting underneath the right block of the three coals, so starting from there, you're just going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal, up, not, uh, not, up, but down, down to the right, I'm a mess right now, seven blocks going diagonal down to the right, starting underneath the right block, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, so it should look like this. Alright, so let's go back over here to these three again, starting from the right block once again. So from that block, you're, this time you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now starting on top of the right block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Now, starting from the right block again, don't get it confused with that one down there, but this one here. Starting from that block, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's get rid of these placement blocks. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch to the placement block and add a placement block on the right of these two. And switch back to the coal. Starting underneath the placement block, you're going to add seven blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it should be making contact with that block. Let's get rid of that placement block there. And let's head back over here. Now starting from that block, you're going to place one block going down. On the left. That's one. And now place three sets of twos going down on the right side. Three sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. That's three sets of twos. And now we're going to be placing one block going down on the right. That's one. Now place nine blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to place 12 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Make sure you're counting correctly. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now you're going to be placing 7 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now place six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to start from the right block here, and we're going to count two blocks into the left, this being the first block that we count. So this is one, and this is two. Now we're going to start underneath this block here, so starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, and three. 
Now, from these three blocks here, we're going to start underneath the left block of the three. So, starting from right there, underneath there, you're going to add four blocks going down. So, that's one, two, three, and four. You should be making contact with these two cold blocks going across here. All right. Now, starting from the bottom block of these four blocks that we just placed going down, starting from the left side of the bottom block, so from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. And now place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to be placing one block on top of the right block of the seven. So place one block right there. Let's head back over here to the left of the seven. So starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now let's switch back over to the black wool. So switching blocks with the black now. You're going to continue this by going two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. And it should be making contact with the middle block of these three black walls going across like this. All right, so let's head back Let's see, do, 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 do. back, I guess, up here. Let's head back to these three coals here, to the three coal blocks, but still remaining with the black wool. With the black wool underneath the right block of these three coals, so starting from there with the black wool, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. So it should look like that. All right, now we're going to switch over to the coal block. And with the coal block, let's move back over here to the seven coal blocks here. Starting from the right, uh, not the right, but the left block of the, of the seven. So starting from there, you're going to count three blocks into the right. This being the first block that you count. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. So starting underneath that block, right there, I was just getting rid of a shadow glitch, starting underneath that block there, right there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right, so that's one and two. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Now we are going to switch over to the stone block. So switching over to the stone block now. We're going to move over to this empty space. You can see this gap here in between these four black walls going across and these other four black walls going across as well. And on top of this one coal block. So starting from there with this stone block, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And then place two stone blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. And then one block going up on the left. That's one. Now let's switch over to the cyan. Now with the cyan, again, remember it's always going to be called cyan stained clay, or less, at least I should say that's what I'm referencing to. Whenever I say cyan, that means cyan stained clay. So switching to the cyan, we're going to move down here, starting on top of this one stone block. I know it looks a little confusing because we did fill in this 
in part two, I believe, with this uh, stone. But this is the first stone block right there that we placed. So starting on top of the first stone block that we just placed. So from there, you're just going to add five cyans going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we are going to switch over to the, where is it, the gray wool, All right, oh there it is, okay, the gray wool, yay, okay, so with the gray wool, we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the gray wool, so let's do that, and we have a small part filled in like that. So now that we fill this in, let's move up here to the right, to this empty space that's just above this area. And for this, we're going to remain with a gray wool, and we're going to place four gray wools going across underneath these four coals. So that's one, two, three, four, and then two blocks going across underneath these two black wools, or I should say two, uh, two coal blocks. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. We had the four across, and we had two across. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan and fill in this empty space and this empty space with the cyan. Let's fill that in, so we get that. Now we're going to move down here to this next empty space, and we're going to start, let's start by heading down here to the most bottom left corner part of this whole entire area. And for this, we're going to need the gray wool, starting off with the gray wool in this empty section, uh, starting on top of that black wool there, part of the three here. Just place two blocks going diagonal up to the left, that's uh, one, two. And then switch over to the cyan. Now with the cyan, you're going to be placing two blocks, Start well I should say starting from there, starting on the left side, or the right, the right side of that gray. Two, uh, two cyans going diagonal up to the left, so that's one and two. Now we are going to switch it up because I keep losing my, uh, my place when it comes to these type of blocks. It's easy for me to lose. All right, uh, we're switching over. Let's see to the cyan or not yet? Not yet. We're, we'll stay with the cyan. We'll make it fun. Uh, going back over here to these nine coal blocks. So going back to these nine here, or not too far from there. Starting on top of the right block. So from there, you're just going to be placing one cyan there. And then from this one, you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And let's head back over here to this one cyan. Starting on the left side of it, you're going to place two grays going up. That's one, two. Now place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Now we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, moving to this area here, not this area that we just created, but over here to the right, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wool, so fill this in. Once you've done that, you're going to switch back over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the gray wool, so do that now. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the cyan. And with the cyan, we're going to start, I say, let's start down here. You see where we have this uh, gray wool? We're going to skip in a space and move over to the left. So skipping one empty space and moving over to the left, so starting from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. And now you're going to fill in this single empty space here between the cyan and the gray with the cyan. So fill this in. Once you've done that, we're going to switch back over to the stone block, and with the stone, we're going to fill in the remaining empty space here with the stone block. So let's do that now. And there we have a very small portion of Ultron completed. Yay! 
We can stop now. No, let's continue. We are going to move back over here. Or no, let's. We might as well close this part out because I can see that it's almost closed. Let's switch back. I believe I'm going to need the coal block for this again. So let's switch back to the coal and the black wool. So we can keep that next to each other. And let's head back over to this area here. If you remember, I had you place these six coal blocks going across. And underneath it, we had these three blocks going across. But let's focus on the six. Going back to these six, starting from the right block, so from that block there, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we are going to, let's say, switch to the placement block, put a placement block on the bottom right side of the four. So place one placement block there. Switch over to the coal, starting underneath, or starting on top, on top of the placement block, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now you're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right. Two sets of threes. So that's one, two, one. Or I should say one. <laughs> messed that up. Good job, Felix. One, two, one, two, three, one. So this is the first set. That's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. That's two sets of threes. So it's two groups, and in each group, there's three blocks. So again, two sets of threes. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. So it should look like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. All right. Now we are going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Now I really want to close this area here. It's kind of an eyesore for me. I know I say that a lot, but it really is. It's an eyesore. Stop being an eyesore. So we'll come back to this because I really want to finish closing this off. I don't remember where exactly I left off when it came to this uh, part. But let's start from this block of what appears to be five black wolves here coming from this area. So starting from that black wool, we're going to have to switch back over to the black wool. So switching over to the black wool, starting from that block there, you're going to place two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the left. Two sets of fours. So that's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. That's two sets of fours. And now you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three. And I just realized I don't think this is actually going to close this out. This might actually go up there, but I think it will. All right. Let's head back one over. Going back to these four black wolves here. It's the second set of the two sets of four. So going over here to these fours, making contact with these three. So these fours here, we're going to start starting from the left block, I should say. Starting from the left block, counting into the right two blocks. So this is one. This is two. Starting on top of that black wool, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left side. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Now place six blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now starting uh, from the top block on the right side of it, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Now place two blocks going across, uh, not just two, but place three sets of twos. Place three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now, starting from the left block of these two blocks here, starting from that block there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So, 
at 1, 2. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 1, 2. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's 1 and 2. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan wool, and this empty space here, this single space, gets filled in with just cyan. And then switch over to the stone block and fill in these three remaining empty spaces between the black wool with these stone blocks. Fill these three in. So it should look like that. Alright, we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back to the top block of the six black wools that we placed here going up. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing one block going up on the left side. That's one. And now place five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then place one block going up on the left side. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the coal block. So let's switch back to the coal. Let's head back over here to this one black wool, not the one black wool that we just finished placing there, but just this one over here on the right. So going back to this one block, what you're going to be doing next is placing eight coal blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can go ahead and fill in this empty space here. Well, not just fill it in. I'm almost forgetting. Uh, before you fill it in, switch over to the uh, cyan. Or not the cyan. The... <laughs> getting these colors confused. So confusing. So many grays, different colors, or d different names, I should say. Uh, switching over to the light gray wool. You're going to move over here to this corner. And next to this black wool, just place one light gray wool. So place one there. Then switch over to the cyan, and then fill in this empty space here with the cyan. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch back over to the coal block. Let's continue this path by going over here to the left. And starting on top of it, it should be a linked, so I'll just say it. So it's going to be a linked three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. And now place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. Now let's switch to the placement block and put a placement block on the left side of this coal block. So place one there. Switch back to the coal. Starting underneath the placement block, you're going to place nine blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of that and go back. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool. So switching over to the black wool, starting on the right side of the nine coal blocks here. So starting from that block. You're going to place six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. It should be making contact with these three black wolves here. Now from this area, we're just going to move down just a bit to find these four coal blocks going up here. Starting from the top block of the four, you're going to be placing two black wolves going across on the upper level to the left. 
So that's one, two. So it should look like that. Now we're going to, let's see, why don't we just fill this area in. So we're going to switch over to the coal block and let's head back over here to the nine coal blocks going across here. So going back to these nine, starting from the right block, starting from that block, you're going to count two blocks into the left, this being the first block that you count. So this is one and this is two. So we're going to start on top of this block and starting on top of it, you're just going to place one coal block there. And then place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And then one block going up on the right. That's one. Now let's switch over to the black wall. Now with the black wool starting on, let's see, on top of this one coal block, just place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Then moving down here, starting on top of these two blo uh, two coal blocks that are going up, starting on top of the coal. With the black wool, place three black wools going across to the left. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to put away some of these blocks because we're going to be using the... Right, well, you're going to be switching over to the block of redstone, the red wool, the nether brick, and the nether rack. So switch to these blocks here. We're going to start off with the, let's see, we're going to start off with the red wool, starting from the bottom left corner of this empty space here. You're going to place two red wools going across, so that's one, two. Switch over to the nether brick, place one nether brick on the right. And starting on top of this nether brick, you're going to place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Now switch over to the redstone. And not the redstone just yet. <laughs> Let's continue this path going down here. Place one red wool next to this nether brick, so place one red there. Now switch over to the nether rack and place one nether rack on top of the red. And go ahead and place one nether rack on top of this nether brick. Now let's switch over to the redstone. Starting on top of this coal block, place two redstones going up. That's one, two. And then place one redstone on top of this nether rack. Now we are going to switch things up a bit. Let's go all the way over here to the top right corner. And we're going to switch over to the nether brick. Starting on top of this coal block here, just place two nether bricks going up. That's one, two. Then let's head down to the next set of two coals. So going to these two coal blocks going across, just place two nether bricks going across on top of it. So that's one, two. And now starting on top of the left block of the two nether bricks, so starting from there, place two nether bricks going across to the left. That's one and two. And now place one nether brick on top of the left block next to this coal block, so place one there. So it should look like this. Now switch to over to the red wool and fill in these two empty spaces here with red wool. And there you have it. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block. So we're done with the red and whatnot with all of this for now. So let's switch back over to the blocks that we need. And the, one of the blocks is going to be the stone block. So let's switch over to the stone block. Now, starting from this one coal block here, starting on the right side of it, you're just going to hug the outline of the coal block going all the way up until you stop underneath this coal block. So let's hug the outline, if you remember what that means. If you don't, then pause the video and just compare. So we just hug the outline of the coal block so it looks like that. Now we're going to move over here to this one black wool that's uh, making contact with these five black wools going across in this area that we filled in. Starting underneath this black wool, you're going to place two stone blocks going down. That's one, two. Now switch over to the black wool. Now starting underneath the two stone blocks, you're going to place six black wools going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you're going to place one block underneath the right and the left of the six. So one block underneath the left and one block underneath the right. 
And then you're going to connect these two by placing four blocks going across on the lower level. So that's one, two, three, four. And then fill in the empty space here with the cyan. So it should look like this. Now let's switch back over to the stone block. Let's head back to this black wool here that we placed underneath the left block of the six. Starting underneath it, you're going to be placing three stone blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool, and let's head back to the single block that we placed underneath the right block of the six. So starting underneath that black wool there, you're going to place five light gray wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, keeping uh, us in the same column here, we're just going to go straight up, and on top of this black wool, place one light gray wool. So place one there. Now, let's switch over to the stone block, and let's head back down here, starting on the black wool next to the light gray wool here. So starting from there, you're going to place nine stone blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we are going to switch over to the gray wool. Let's move over here to the left. You're going to fill in this empty space here with the gray wool, staying within the outline. So let's fill this in. And once you fill that in, we're going to switch back over to the cyan. Now with the cyan, we're going to move down here to the right and fill in this empty space here with the cyan. Let's fill this in. And once you've done that, we're going to move over here to the left, and we're going to fill in these two remaining empty spaces here with the cyan. So let's do that now. And it should look like this so far. Alright, so now we are going to, let's see, I guess we should connect uh, some more outlines here with the coal block and the black wool. Alright, moving back over here to where we had the three coal blocks going across to the left that started on top of the left block of the eight coal blocks. So going back over here to these three, we're going to start from the right block. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And then place one block underneath the right blocks. So place one coal block there. Moving back up here, starting from that block there, you're going to place one block going up on the right. That's one. And now starting on top of this one block, you're going to add four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now starting on top of the left block of the three, so starting from there, you're just going to add seven blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now place eight blocks going up on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's head back over here to the top block of the seven, starting from this block again. This time you're going to go up on the left side and you're going to place eight, or not eight, nine blocks going up on the left. Place nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool, starting again on top of the seven coal blocks here. Starting on top of it, you're just going to place four gray wools going up. That's one, two, three, four. Then switch over to the black wool and fill in the remaining empty space here with the black wool. So it should look like this. Now we are going to... 
switch back over to the coal block and let's head back to the right going back to these four black wolves going across that starting on top on yeah the starting on top of this one coal block there so going back to these four starting from the right block so from there you're going to place three blocks going up on the right that's one two three and now place let's see four blocks going across to the left on the upper level to the left that's one two three four and now one block going up on the left that's one now from here we're just going to move back down again to these four coal blocks here starting from the left block you're going to place one block going up on the left so that's one so it should look like this now starting from that one block there that we just placed you're going to place 10 blocks going up on the left side 10 on the left it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and it should be making contact with the left block of these 19 coal blocks let's get rid of that and let's head back up here to the four coal blocks here that we had going across so going back to these four starting from the right block you're going to be placing one block going up on the right that's one and now from this one you're going to place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left that's one two three four and now place one block going up on the left that's one now we are going to switch over to the black wall, place one black wall on top of this coal, just place one there, switch back to the coal block and place one coal block on top of the black wall. Now we're going to start, stay on the same level as this one coal block and we're just going to move to the left, staying on the same level and starting from that coal block there on the left side, you're going to place two blocks going across to the left, that's one and two. Now from these two you're going to place two sets of threes two sets of threes going down on the left that's one two three one one two three two and then we're just going to add one more three blocks going down on the left so place one or place three blocks going down on the left so that's one two and three so i'll fly back again so you can see that it should look exactly like this Now let's head back over here to this one coal block that we placed on top of this black wool. Now starting from that one coal block there, you're going to place seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's switch over to, let's see, the black wool for a moment. Now we're going, with the black wool, you're going to place three blocks going down on the right side. That's one two three and now starting underneath the three blocks so starting from there so starting underneath it you're going to add three blocks going across to the right so that's one two three and now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right that's one two And now starting on top of the right block of the two here, so from there, you're going to add two blocks going up, that's one, two. And now place three blocks going up on the right, that's one, two, three. And now place two blocks going up on the right, that's one, two. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right, that's one, two. Let's switch over to the uh, block of redstone for just a moment. Starting on the right side of the two black holes here, starting from there, you're going to place two redstones going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. Let's switch back over to the black wool, head back to these three blocks going across here. Now from these three blocks, we're going to start on top of the right block, so starting from there on top of it, you're going to be adding two blocks going up, so that's one, two. And then place three blocks going up on the right, that's one, two, three. 
And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Now let's move back to the left a bit, and let's head back to these seven coal blocks. We're going to start from the right block of the seven, so starting from that block there. You're going to place one block going up on the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right. That's one and two. Now let's switch over to the stone blocks, starting from the left side of this one black wool here. You're going to add two stone blocks going across to the left. Switch back to the black wool, place one black wool on the left side of these two stone blocks, place one there. And then from this one black wool, you're going to place two blocks going up on the right. That's one and two. Let's switch back to the stone block, starting on the left side of this black wool here. You're going to add two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. Switch back over to the black wool, place one black wool on the left side of this stone. So place one black wool there. And from this one black wool, you're going to place two blocks going up on the right. That's one and two. Let's switch to the cyan now. Now with the cyan, let's move back over here to this one coal block. And on top of it, you're going to add two cyans going up. So that's one and two. Switch over to the light gray wool now. With a light gray wool, fill in this small space here with light gray wool. Once you've done that, switch over to the stone block and fill in these two spaces here with stone. And now that you fill those two spaces there, we're going to move to the right and we're also going to be filling in these two other spaces here, staying within the outline with the stone block. So let's fill these in. So it should look like this, another section filled. Alright, so we are going to now, let's see, remain with the stone block for just a moment. Let's head back over here to the three black wools going across, and underneath the right block, you're just going to place one stone block there, so it looks like that. Now let's switch back over to the black wool, starting from the left block of these three black wools. So from that block, you're going to place four blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now starting on top of the uh, four blocks going down on the left, we're going to switch back over to the coal block. Switching to the coal, starting from the top block of the four, you're going to be placing four coal blocks going up on the left. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan. And let's head back to these four black wolves going down on the left. And starting underneath it, you're going to place three cyans going down. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to move down here to the bottom empty space of this area. So this area here, going to the bottom left. So from there, you're just going to hug the outline of the coal block going all the way up and stopping underneath that coal block. So just hug the outline, so with the light gray wool. And once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the stone block and fill in the remaining space here with stone. And it should look like this. Now we are going to switch back over to the cyan. So let's switch to the cyan. And we're going to move back to this one stone block that we placed. Now underneath this stone block, you're going to add eight cyans going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're also going to fill in this empty space here that we just made with the cyan. So fill this in. And while we're at it, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool and fill in this empty space here with the light gray wool. Now, while we're with the light gray wool, we're going to 
start underneath these two black wools going across, mainly underneath the left. So with the light gray wool, starting from there, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now let's switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to place nine blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it should be making contact with the right block of these two black wools going across. Let's get rid of that placement block and let's head down. And we're going to continue this column of just gray wool going down, and it's going to start underneath this black wool. Starting from there, you're going to place six gray wools going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we are going to switch over. Let's see, we're going to switch over, not just yet, we'll stay with the gray for now. Because uh, this is kind of like a mess for me. I started off with the black, but I wanted to start off with something else in part, I believe it was two or one, I'm not sure. But anyways, going to this kind of column of black wools that are just going up, that are right next to the gray wools that we just placed. So going to these columns, going to the bottom on the right side, so starting from there on top of this black wool, again, starting from there, you're going to be placing 15 gray wools going up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 gray wools. Now switch over to the black wool. Starting on top of the 15 gray wool, so starting from there, you're going to place four blocks going across to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Now one block going up on the right side. That's 1. Now from this one block, you're going to place five blocks going down on the right side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. It should be making contact with these three blocks here. Now that we've got that, we're going to switch over to the cyan. So let's switch to the cyan. And from this area, we're just going to move up here to these four black wools going across. So find these four black wools. It's just above the area that we were just working from. So starting on the left side of these four black wools, starting from right there, you're going to place 11 cyans going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now this empty space that we just created, we're going to move to the bottom right corner of it, and starting on top of that black wall, place three cyans going up. So that's one, two, three. Now let's switch to the stone block and fill in this empty space here with the stone. Once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the cyan and head to this area now to the right of it so we're going to start at the bottom left corner of this empty space which is down here and you're going to place five blocks going up that's one two three four five now three blocks going up on the right side that's one two three now switch over to the gray wool and fill in this small space here with the gray Now let's switch to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to move down here towards the bottom right corner. As you can see, that there's just one black wool and it's separated from these two. We're going to start next to this one black wool on the left side. So starting from right there, with the light gray wool, you're going to place 12 blocks going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now let's switch to the cyan and fill in this empty space here to the right with the cyan. Next, switch over to the stone block and fill in this space here with the stone. And once we've done that, we're going to move down here to this next section that's below this area. 
and we're, for this we're going to be needing some blocks. We're going to be needing the light blue stained clay, the blue stained clay, and the obsidian block. So switch to these three blocks. Starting off with the light blue stained clay, starting on top of the left block of these two black walls going across. So starting from there, you're going to place three light blue stained clays. So that's one, two, three. Switch over to the blue stained clay, and you're going to add three more blocks going alongside of it on the right. So that's one, two, three. Switch over to the obsidian, same thing. Place three blocks going alongside of it on the right. That's one, two, three. So it should look like that. All right, let's put these blocks away. And let's switch over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, you're going to be placing three blocks going alongside of it on the right. So that's one, two, three. And now place one light gray wool underneath the obsidian. So place one there. And then two blocks going across underneath these two black wools going across. So that's one, two. Let's head back over here to the bottom block of the light gray wool, of the three light gray wools here. Starting from the bottom block, place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And then one block going down on the left. That's one. So it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, we're going to move to these two black walls going across, starting on the left side of these two black walls. So from there, you're going to add three stone blocks going down. That's one, two, three. Now switch over to the gray wool, starting on top of this black wool next to the stone. So from there, add three gray wools going up. That's one, two, three. Now we are going to switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, we're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with the stone. So fill those in. And then we're going to move down here to the right. And this single empty space here gets filled in with the stone block. So fill this in with stone. And then we're going to move down to the right again and fill in this single space here with stone as well. Now we're going to start working on this empty space and for this we're going to be needing the cyan stained clay. And we're going to start up here to the top right corner of it starting underneath this black wall, this empty space. So from there, place three blocks going down with cyan. That's one, two, three. And then place five blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now fill in this small space with the cyan. Then switch over to the stone block and fill in the remaining space here with the stone. Next, we're going to switch back over to the cyan. And from these blocks here, these seven black walls that are going up that from the area that we just finished filling in, starting from the top block of it, so from that block, you're going to be placing seven cyans going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool, and starting on top of the, uh, the seven cyans here, so from there, you're going to place two light gray wools going across to the right. That's one, two. And then place one block going up on the right. That's one. Let's switch back to the stone and fill in this empty space here with this stone block. Once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the cyan, and we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the cyan. So let's fill this in. And it should look like this so far, so you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now we're going to move down to some of these other empty spaces that are kind of opened here from this area that we were just working on. 
And for this next part, we're going to be switching back over to the three colors that are the light blue stained clay, the blue stained clay, and the obsidian. Starting off with the light blue stained clay, we're going to, to avoid any confusion, actually. Let's start off with the gray wool. Let's start with the smaller empty space here. Next to this black wool on the right, place one gray wool there. Switch over to the cyan, and then fill in the remaining empty space here with the cyan. So it looks like this. Now let's move to this empty space that has an opening here. Starting off with the light blue stained clay, on top of the left block of these two black walls, we're going to do something similar that we did up there. We're going to be placing two light blue stained clays going up. That's one, two. And then place two blue stained clays going up alongside of it on the right. That's one, two. Now switching over to the obsidian, you're going to be placing three obsidians going up alongside on the right. So that's one, two, three. Then switch back over to the blue stained clay and place two blocks going alongside on the right of the obsidian. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block. Let's put away these blocks. So switching over to the stone block. We're going to head down here to this kind of backwards L shape here, and starting on top of this black wool, so from there, you're going to add two stone blocks going up. That's one, two. Switch over to the cyan stained clay, fill in this single space here with the cyan, and then place another cyan block on top of the stone block, so place one there. So it should look like that. Now we are going to remain with the cyan, and let's head back up here to this area. And we are going to find this backwards L shape here that we started from, where we had the three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right with the light gray wool. So going back to this area here, finding this kind of backwards L shape, uh, starting on the right side, or we could just say starting underneath it, uh, on, on top of the, or underneath the three black walls here that are going up on the right. So from there, just add three cyans going down. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like that. Now we're going to move to the next black walls. So these two black walls, and starting underneath it, you're going to place four cyans going down. That's one, two, three, four. Now let's switch over to the stone block and let's head back, or not back, but let's head to the next uh, black wool, which is up here, which is underneath the left block of these two black wools. So from there, just add two stone blocks going down. That's one and two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to do a little time lapse here. So pay close attention because we are going to be filling in three empty spaces and this is going to be time lapsed. So. The first empty space that you're going to be filling in, or you could do this in whatever order, is this large space here. It gets filled in with the black wool, staying within the outline. So this single empty space here, this large empty space, gets filled in with black wool. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the stone block, and these two empty spaces here, this space and this space, get filled in with the stone. So do that now. So once you've finished filling that in, we're going to switch back over to the coal block. And let's head back down here, back to the five coal blocks going across. So starting from the right blocks, so from that block there, you're going to place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And now place three blocks going down on the right. One, two, three. And then two blocks going down on the left. That's one and two. It should be making contact with these four black wools, or not black wools, I keep getting them confused. Four coal blocks going across, so it should look like that. All right, next we're going to move over here to the left side because we just created this large empty space. We're going to move over here to the left going up here, if you recall, having these three black walls going across underneath these six coal, not three black walls, 
Three cold blocks go... In my head, I thought black wool. Uh, it's weird. Going back to these three cold blocks that went underneath these six cold blocks going across. So, again, find these cold blocks. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Starting from the right block of the three, so starting from that block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now starting underneath the middle block of the three, so from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going down. It's one, two, three, four. And now, let's see, uh, while we're here, we might as well switch over to the gray wool from this empty space. Underneath these two coal blocks, place two gray wools going across. That's one, two. Now switch over to the cyan and fill in this space here with the cyan. Now let's switch back over to the coal, and let's continue the path here. Going back to the three coal blocks going across, starting from the right block. From there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two. So that's two, just two blocks going across. In my head, it's, it's always different numbers and whatnot. Ugh. Okay. Now, from the two blocks, you're going to place one block going down on the right. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now place one block going down on the right. That's one. And now place five blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool for just a moment. And with the gray wool starting on top of the five coal blocks, so from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Now let's switch back over to the coal block. And starting underneath the middle block of the three gray wool, so starting from there, just place one coal block, so that's one. And then two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. And st starting underneath the right block of the two coal blocks here, just place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. Let's switch over to the gray wool. Place From this empty space, place one gray wool at the bottom left corner of this space. So place one gray wool there. Switch over to the stone block. At the top, underneath this coal block, place one stone block. Switch over to the cyan, and then fill in this small space here with the cyan. So we have this. Now we're going to switch to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, let's see... Uh, I think I might have confused something around here. <laughs> I think I did. All right. You see these three gray wools here? We're going to switch over to the black wool. <laughs> we're going to switch over to the black wool. These three gray wools that we place, we're going to replace them with black wool. These should be black wools, not grays. That's why I was getting a little confused. I'm like, wait, what? So let's replace them with three black wools instead of three gray wools. All right. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool and place one gray wool next to this black wool and on top of this coal blocks so place one gray wool there now let's switch back over to the black wool starting from the right side of the gray so from there you're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the lower level to the right that's one two three one one two three two now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right one two and then one block going down to the right. And that's one. Now starting on top of the right block of these two coal blocks here going across, starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. And that's one and two. And then two blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two. Now let's fill in these two empty spaces here with the black wool. Let's fill those in. 
Let's move over here to this side, to the left, and you're also going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wool. So let's fill this in as well. And let's move back over here to these three black wools that we replaced because they were gray, but we replaced them with black. Starting from the top black wool, so from that black wool there of the three, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And then place one block going up on the right. That's one. And now we are going to... I'm not sure if we should do this in time-lapse, but... Uh, and there's a... Whoa, there's a shadow glitch somewhere. Let me fix that. Alright. But this is what you're going to be doing. It's going to be a mini time-lapse that... I don't think I'm going to time-lapse it. Alright. So up here, you can see that there's this empty space here that we just kind of closed off with the two black wools and one black wool here. Uh, this is going to get filled in with black wool, so let's just do that now. Let's fill this in with the black wool. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wool, head back over here to this empty space. You're going to fill in this empty space here with the gray wool, so do that now. A lot of silence. I don't know. <laughs> it's not large enough for me to actually time lapse it because it would have just been too much effort for nothing. All right. So now that we've got those two empty spaces, we get this and we get this other leftover empty space that we're let's see. We're going to work on that next. So we are going to start off by switching over. I'd say to the light gray wool. So let's switch to the light gray wool. Let's start to the top left corner of this empty space. So from up here, just place one light gray wool, and then two blocks going across on the lower level to the right, that's one, two, and then one block going down to the right, that's one. Now let's switch over to the stone block, continuing the path, place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right, one, two, and then place one block going down to the right, that's one. Now let's switch over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool, starting underneath the light gray wool, starting from there, you're going to place three gray wools going down. That's one, two, three. And then place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now let's switch back over to the light gray wool, and with the light gray wool, you're going to be placing two blocks going down to the right. That's one and two. Then you're going to switch over to the stone block and place one stone block on top of this coal block next to the light gray wool. So place one stone block there. And once you've done that, let's just switch around these blocks for just a moment. All right. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wool. So with the gray wool, we're going to fill in this space here with gray. So let's do that. And now we'll switch over to the stone block and fill in this empty space here with the stone. Alright, now that we've got that out of the way, we might as well continue outlining some stuff. So let's switch, let's see, to the black wall. And let's fly all the way back over here. If you remember, we had these seven coal blocks going across. So going back to these seven blocks here, it's not too far from where we just left off, which was down there somewhere. So going all the way over here to the left, going to these seven coal blocks, starting from the right block. So from that, with the black wool, you're going to be place... Let's see, is it the black wool? I, I think it is. All right. With the black wool, you're going to be placing 11 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's the trouble with using uh, coal blocks and black holes. They almost look the same, except coal is darker. Alright, so now that we've got 11 blocks going across to the right, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's 1, 2. And now one block going down to the right. That's 1. 
and I'll place five blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, with the black wool, starting on top of the right block of the five, place one black wool on top, so that's one. And I place two sets of twos going up on the left side. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now, starting on top of this, or not, not yet. Not on top, but just starting from the block. Starting from this one block, you're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now, starting on top of this one black wool, you're going to be, or of the right of the seven, you're going to just place one black wool, so that's one. Now switch over to the coal block. Starting on top of the one black wool, you're going to add two coal blocks going across to the right. That's one and two. And now, while we're at it, we might as well continue outlining some of this. Uh, with the coal block, starting from the left block from these two, so from the flat block, you're going to place two blocks going up on the right. Or on the left, the left. That's one, two. Remember, do as I do, not as I say. Always. That's when in doubt. If I'm doing something and I do something else. Or if I say something, I'm doing something else. Alright. So now you're going to start from the right block of the two blocks going up. So starting from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Now, going back to the top block of these two coals here, so going back to that block there, you're going to place three blocks going up on the right. Or on the left! Ah! One, two, three. I swear to God, I'm not dyslexic or whatever that is. Whatever you call it. It's just that... It's just too many directions. Everything becomes one. Everything just... Just becomes one. And by one, I mean everything. I say so... Like, it's like when you say a word so many times that it just loses its meaning. Like, it's like, what am I saying now? It just sounds like I'm making a sound. That's pretty much me at this point. So... Put one placement block on the right side of the three coal blocks here, going up the top block. So switch back to the coal, starting on top of the placement block there. Place three coal blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. And now starting on top of the left block of the three here, so from there, you're going to add three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. And I'll place one block going down to the right. That's one. Switch over to the cyan. Place one cyan underneath the coal block. So place one there. Switch back to the coal. And place one coal underneath the cyan. Now this is kind of just filled with different stuff. So let's switch over to the cyan. Place one cyan at the bottom left corner of this empty space. Place one there. Switch over to the gray wool. Place one gray wool right next to it on the right. Switch over to the stone block on top of the gray wool with the stone. Place two stone blocks going up. That's one, two. Switch over to the light gray wool and on top of the cyan with the light gray wool. Place two blocks going up. That's one, two. It's just mixed with random blocks here. Alright, now to make it less confusing, switch over to the gray wool and just fill in this space here below it with the gray. Let's fill this in. And now we're going to switch over to the black wool. With the black wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black. So fill this in. Move up to the right. This single empty space here also gets filled in with black wool. So let's fill this in. Now let's move up here to this empty space. We're going to switch over to the cyan for this next part. Or not the cyan, I should say uh, the light, where is it? The light gray wool. There we go. Switching over to the light gray wool, starting underneath the, or going to the top of the, I'm just the mess. Going to the top left corner of this empty space with the light gray wool, place three blocks going down. That's one, two, and three. 
Now we are going to switch over to the gray wool. Where are you? Gray wool. And going to these two coal blocks going across, starting on top of the left block. So from there, place two gray wools going up. That's one and two. Now we are going to switch over to the black wool and fill in the remaining empty space here. Staying within the outline, just this area. Fill this in with black wool. And it should look like this. Alright, so the next part that we're going to be working on is this empty space. It's going to be kind of annoying, so make sure to keep up because I'm going to kind of, kind of go fast. Alright, we're going to start at the top of this empty space here, top left corner, which is right here. And we're going to start off with the light gray wool. With the light gray wool, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now switch over to the stone block. And with the stone, starting underneath the light gray wool, you're going to add two stone blocks going down. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool again and move over here, starting underneath this coal. You're going to be placing two light gray wools going down, so that's one, two. Switch back over to the stone, place one stone block underneath the light gray wool. Switch back over to the, uh, let's see, switch back to, not, not over, but we'll remain with the stone. Now let's head back over here again to the left, going underneath this coal block, place one stone block. So it's like this. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan. And starting underneath this stone block here with the cyan, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now let's switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool starting underneath the middle block of the three cyans. So from there, place two gray wools going down. That's one, two. And then place two blocks going diagonal down to the right, or left, down to the left. Two blocks going diagonal down to the left, that's one, two. Again, so it should look like this. Now place one gray wool underneath the cyan block that's up here. So place one gray there. Let's head back over here to the left and fill in these two empty spaces with gray wool. Now let's switch over to the black wool. Fill in this small, uh, small space here with the black wool. Is it black wool? I believe it's black wool. I don't know. Again, I'm getting confused with the black and the coal. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure it's black wool. So place one black wool there so it's look, it looks like that. And now we're going to also fill in this single empty space here with the black wool. So fill this in. So it looks like this. Alright, for this next part... We're going to be filling in, well, actually, before we actually do anything, uh, let's switch over to the cyan. Now, with the cyan, we're going to move up here to these empty spaces. This small space here, this one space, gets filled in with cyan, so fill that in. Now, going directly above it, on top of this coal block, you're going to place two cyans going up. That's one, two. Now, let's head back down here to this empty space. And starting on top of this cold block, place three cyans going up. So that's one, two, three. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Alright, so now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, we're going to move over here to the left and fill in this empty space here with the gray wool staying within the outline. So let's do that now. And once you've filled in this empty space, we're going to switch back over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to fill in the remaining empty spaces here, all of them, with the black wool. So let's fill all these small spaces with black. Got a good portion of Ultron completed so far in this part. We're still going to aim for getting the entire thing here finished, even though there's a lot. I'll try to rush through it, but not too fast where you can't follow. Okay, so now that we've got that portion done, we might as well work on this large empty space. 
And for this next part, we're going to... Let's see, how can I make this as easy as possible? Let's switch to the coal block for this next part. Switching to the coal blocks, there's still a lot of outlining to be done. Let's head back over to these two black wolves going across that came from these four coal blocks going up. So going back to those two black wolves there. We're going to switch over to the placement block. And with the placement block starting underneath the left block of the two black walls, you're going to be placing one placement block. So place one there. Switch back over to the coal. Starting underneath the placement block, place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. And now place one coal block underneath the right block of the two. So place one there. Now starting from the left block of the two coal blocks going across, starting from that block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now place six blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now place 10 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're going to be placing 12 blocks going across on the upper level to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we are going to start by uh, filling in some, sp some spaces here. Uh, let's switch over to the cyan. And let's move up to the top left corner of this empty space and place one cyan block. So place one cyan there. Switch over to the light gray wool, and from this one cyan, place one block going down on the right. So place one cyan, or not one cyan, one light gray wool there. Now switch over to the stone block, and with the stone block starting underneath the light gray wool. So from there, place three stone blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Now let's switch over to the gray wool, and... Place one gray wool in this empty space. And place one gray wool underneath this stone block. So we have this. Now let's switch over to the gray wool, or remain with gray wool. Uh, let's move up here and place one gray wool on top of this light gray wool. Let's switch over to the stone block, starting on the right side of the stone, or the right side of the gray. You're going to be placing five stone blocks going across to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five. Now, we're going to move over here to the right from uh, these 11 black wolves here that are making contact with the five stone. Starting underneath the right block of the 11 black wolves with the stone block, so from there, place three blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. Now let's move up here to these two black wolves going across. Starting underneath the right block of the two black wolves, place two stone blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And now that we have that, we're going to be switching, let's see, switching over to the gray wool. And from this area that we were just working on, we're going to move down here to these 12 coal blocks going across. Don't get it confused with these 10 black walls, or 10 coal blocks, I should say, that are directly uh, below this, but we're going to move down here to these 12. Now, starting from the right block, on top of the right block of these 12 coal blocks, you're going to be placing 15 gray walls going across to the left. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 gray wolves. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. Okay. Now let's switch over to the black wool, and we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wool. So let's fill this in. Okay. 
And once we fill that in, we're going to be switching back over to the gray wall. And let's head back down here. And we're going to start on top of the left block of these seven coal blocks here going across. So starting from there, you're going to be placing seven gray wools going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now place six blocks going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, starting next to the two gray wolves here, starting on top of that coal block as well. You're going to be placing three stone blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool, and with the light gray wool, what we're going to be doing is hugging the outline, starting from here, starting on top of that stone. We're going to be hugging the outline going all the way across to the left, and we're going to stop next to this stone block there. So that's going to be our stopping point there. So we're just going to be hugging the outline of this entire line of just coal blocks. So starting from there, so we're just going to be placing the light gray wool, hugging the outline. And we should stop right there. So it should look like this. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the black wool, and let's move back over here to where we had these gray wools here going across on the lower level to the right. Uh, we're going to be filling in these small empty spaces that we left behind in between the coal block and the gray wool only, filling those empty spaces with the black wool. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the, gr let's see, yeah, switch over to the gray wool. Let's move back to these two black wools going across. Starting on the right side, just place one gray wool to the right of the black wools. Now switch over to the light gray wool, starting on top of the gray wool. With the light gray wool, place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. Also, place one light gray wool on the right side of this gray wool. So place one there. Now from this area, we're just going to move down here, and you're going to start on top of this coal block by placing three light gray wools going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now switch over to the cyan, with the cyan starting on the right side of the light gray wool. You're going to be adding four cyans going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Now let's switch over to the gray and fill in this empty space here with the gray wool. Once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the light gray wool and head back to these two stone blocks. With the light gray wool, place two blocks going across to the right, so that's one, two. And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the right, one, two, three. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And finish it off by placing one block going down to the right. And that's one. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray wool. Let's head back over here to the left. And this single space along with that space uh, there. So these two spaces, that space and this single space here gets filled in with the gray wool. So let's do that now. Let's fill in this empty space with the gray. And almost there, and there we go. So now that we've got that empty space filled in with the gray, let's head back all the way over here to the right going to kind of this area here. We'll try to figure out what's going on here. We're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, 
starting down here at this empty space down here on top of this cold block place two light gray wolves going up that's one two then place three blocks going up on the right that's one two three and then one block going up on the left that's one now let's switch over to the stone block fill in this space down here with stone And then from here, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right with stone. So that's one, two. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. So it should look like this. All right. So now that we have pretty much this cut off with the light gray wall and the black wall and all those other blocks, I believe the only thing that's left for this large empty space is to fill it with stone. Stone? I'm pretty sure just to fill it with stone. Why? Because I said so, that's why. <laughs> the only reason I confuse myself is because I put stone here. I really didn't need to, I guess. That's just different stuff. Confusing myself. Felix confusing himself daily. Not really. Confusing you, if anything. Alright, so, uh, we're almost done with all of this. All this time lapsing, all this filling in part, all of this placing outlines and whatnot. All right, let's see. We got a good portion of his neck done. Yeah, pretty much the entire right side if we do work over here on this. So let's work on this area next, which I think is going to be a nightmare, at least when it comes to going up and links and whatnot. All right, so we are going to start. Let's find a good starting point. Uh, da -da -da -da. I guess we can start from, like, right there. We might as well close this area off. So let's switch over to the black wall for this next part. So, with the black wool starting in this general area, we're going to move to these coal blocks, these nine coal blocks going across. And we're just going to move one up, and you should find this black wool, or not black wool, but this coal block. This one coal block that's making contact with these nine coal blocks here. And what you're going to be doing is not with a black wool, I guess. We're, we'll start off with the cyan. Where are you? Cyan. Place one cyan underneath this coal block, so place one cyan there. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool starting on the left side of the cyan, so starting from right there, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Now starting on top of the four blocks, so starting from there, you're going to add two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. And now you're going to place a linked four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. A linked four. That's one, two, three, four. Now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. One, two, three. And now you're going to place four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block underneath this, uh, these two blocks here. Switch over to the black wool, starting underneath the placement block. You're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. So it should look like this. And while we're at it, we might as well switch over to the gray wool and starting on top of this black wool with the gray wool. You're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. So that's one. And two. And now you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. Whoops. Two. Three. And four. And now place two blocks going down on the right. One, two. And I'll place one block going down to the right. 
That's one. And then place two sets of twos going down on the right side. One, two, one, and one, two, two. Now let's switch back over to the black wall and let's head back up here to the four that we had. We're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on top of this black wall of the four. Switch over to the black wall, place one black wall on top of the placement block. And starting on the left side of this placement block, so from there, you're going to be placing four blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four. So it should look like this. Now, starting from this one black wall here, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now, you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now, place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now we're going to close this off by placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. And it should look like this. Alright, so let's head back over here to where we had the two, or not two, but the four black walls here that went down from that one placement block. We're going to start from the bottom block of the four, so from that block you're going to be placing a linked two blocks going down on the right. A linked two blocks going down on the right, so that's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right, that's one. And now you're going to place two blocks going down on the right. One, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going down to the right. One, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place three blocks going down to the right. One, two, three. Now we are going to start from the top block of these three, or better yet, just to make it less confusing, uh, we'll move back up here. Let's go back up here to where we had these four black wolves going diagonal. So moving to these four here. We're going to start from the bottom block of it, so starting from that black wall there. We're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. Now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the right side. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And one, two, three. Now place one block going down to the right. That's one. So it should look like this. So we're almost done with all of this crazy outline. I think I want to go back over here and finish this. So from this area, we're just going to move up here. Going back to these three black walls going across. So let's go back to these three. Starting underneath the middle block of the three. So starting from there... You're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now you're going to be placing three sets of twos going down on the right. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And one, two, three. That's three sets of twos. 
Now let's head back over here to these four black wolves going across. They're making contact with this one black wolf. So going back to these four here. We're going to start from the left block and we're going to count two blocks into the right. This being the first block that you count. So this is one and this is two. Now we're going to start underneath this block. So starting from there. You're going to be placing five black walls going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Now one block going down to the right. That's one. And now two sets of twos going down on the right side. One, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like that. Getting most of the outline out of the way so we can just fill, do the whole filling in part later. All right, uh, da, 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 where should we go from here? Let's go all the way up here. We're going to just leave this area for now, and we're just going to move all the way up here to this area, to where we have kind of like these two coal blocks, not kind of, but is, to these two coal blocks, and then this one coal block going up to the right, but we're going to move down to the left a bit, and going to these six black walls going across with this one black wall on top of it, we're going to start from the right block of these six, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So, that's one, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going down on the right. One, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. Now, starting underneath uh, this one block, so starting from right there, you're going to add four blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now, you're going to be placing from these four blocks that we just placed here, you're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And you're going to switch over to the placement block, put a placement block underneath this one black wall. Switch over to the black wall, and place one block on the left side of the placement block, and one block underneath the placement block, so it should look like that. Now from this one black wall here, you're going to be placing, just from this, uh, the one that we placed underneath it, you're going to be placing two blocks going down to the right. That's one, two. And then one block going down to the right. That's one. And then place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And it should be making contact with these two coal blocks going across here. Now we are going to switch to the coal block. Now with the coal block, let's head back over here to the four black walls going across that started underneath this one black wall. So, starting from that block there, the right block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, and two. Remember, this is with coal. Now place two blocks going down on the right. One, two. Now one block going down to the right. That's one. And now place seven blocks going across on the lower level to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now starting from the right block of the seven blocks going across, so from that block you're going to count two blocks into the left. This being the first block that you count. So this is one, this is two. Now starting on top of this block here, so from there, Place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now, starting from the left block of these three blocks here, so from that block, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, 
3, 4. Now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. Now let's head back over here to the three blocks going across to the right. So going back to these three, starting on top of the right block, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. And now three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, and three. Now you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now you're going to be placing from these three blocks, starting from the middle block of the three, starting on top of the middle block, so from there, place two blocks going up. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Now we're going to switch to the placement block and put a placement block on top of this, uh, of the, the first block that went up. Diagonal, so place one placement block right there, so it looks like this. Switch over to the coal block, and starting on top of the placement block with the coal block, you're going to be placing five blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to be, let's see, we're going to start from the left block of the five blocks here, going across. So from that block, you're going to count two blocks into the right, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now starting on top of this block, so starting from there, you're going to add two blocks going up. That's one, two. Now remaining in the same column, aligning yourself with this, we're going to move below it and start from there. Now starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And then place two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And it should be connecting to these three blocks here that are going diagonal. So we're going to switch over to the black wall. And with the black wall, we're going to fill in this single empty space here with black wall. So we can just fill this up. Oh, fill it in with gold. So fill this in with black wall. So there we go. So it should look like that. Now we're going, let's see, we're going to switch to the coal because I kind of still want to outline most of this instead of uh, filling it in because I was doing uh, some outlining and then filling in, as you can see right there. But we'll try to outline most of this before we actually fill it in. So let's switch back to the coal block and let's head back to the right block of these five blocks here that are going across. So starting from that block there, you're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing a linked two blocks going up on the left side. Linked two blocks. So that's one and two. Then place one block going up to the left. That's one. So that was a linked two blocks going up on the left. And one block going up on the left. So it should look like that. Now going back over here to this black wall to the two blocks going up to the right so starting from that block again or coal block i should say starting from that coal block you're going to be placing one block going up to the right that's one and then one block going up to the left that's one so it should look like that Now, starting from this block here that went up to the right, so starting from this one block, you're going to be placing, going across to the lower level to the right, three blocks going across. So, that's one, two, three. And now, you're going to place one coal block on top of the right block of the three, so place one block there. Let's head back over here to the left block of the three blocks going across, and we're going to start underneath it. So starting underneath it, starting from there, you're going to add three blocks going down. That's one, two, three. Now place four blocks going down on the right side. 
One, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the top right side of the four here. So place one there. Switch over to the coal block starting underneath the placement block. Place three coal blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Now let's head back to the bottom block of these four coal blocks going down. So starting from that block, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now place six blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now we're going to switch over to the black wall. And with the black wall, we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wall. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay and move up here to this empty space to the left. Starting on top of this coal block, place two cyans going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two. Switch to the coal block and fill in the remaining empty space here with the... Or, switch to the gray wool, the gray wool, and fill in the remaining empty space here with gray. So it should look like this. And we're also going to move over here to the left and fill in these two empty spaces with the gray. And while we're here, we're going to move to this coal block, and starting underneath it, you're going to be placing two gray wools going down. That's one, and two. Alright, let's move down to this empty space here, that above it we filled in with black wool, because this is just a mess of blocks. Let's switch over to the cyan clay, and on the bottom left and the bottom right corner, we're going to be placing cyan, so place two cyans there. Now let's switch over to the stone block. Now at the top left corner and the top right corner, we're going to be placing two stone blocks. So that's one, two. Now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool and place one gray wool in between these two cyans. Switch over to the light gray wool and place one light gray wool on top of the gray wool. So it should look exactly like this. Now that we've got that, we're going to be switching back over to the coal block, and let's head back to the bottom block of these six coal blocks that we had going up on the right. Starting from the bottom block, you're going to be adding two coal blocks going up alongside of it on the right, so that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now starting from the bottom block of the two coal blocks going up, so starting from that block there, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. And I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now we're going to move to these set of fours. Let's move to these four coal blocks here that are kind of making contact with the four blocks that are going diagonal, starting from the top block of these four. So from that block, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. It's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like that. There is so much more left to do and so little time. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Let's start working on this empty space. Starting from this block, underneath that block, you, sh you should be able to find it. Starting from there, you're just going to be placing two gray walls going across to the left. That's one, two. Now switch over to the cyan and place two cyans going across underneath the two gray walls. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the black wall. Fill in this small space here with black wall. And you're also going to fill in this single space here with black wool as well. So fill this in. Alright, now let's switch over to the gray wool and we're going to start working on this empty space. And let's start next to the two coal blocks here, starting from there. With the gray wool, place two blocks going up, so that's one, two. 
and then place four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And then you're going to finish this off by placing three blocks going up on the left. One, two, three. Let's switch over to the black wool. Let's move down here. You're just going to fill in that small space there with black wool. And once you've done that, you're also going to fill in this single space here with black wool as well. And it should look like this, as Felix is losing his voice, but desperately trying to keep it. Alright, so next we're going to be closing off some more sections so we can fill in this empty space. So let's switch over to the cyan, and let's head down here to the three coal blocks going across that are underneath this just mess of blocks going every which way. So moving to these three coal blocks, starting on the left side of it with the cyan, you're going to be placing five blocks going across to the left. It's one, two, three, four, five. Switch over to the stone block starting on top of this cyan clay. You're going to be placing two stone blocks going up. That's one, two. Switch over to the light gray wool and place one light gray wool next to the stone block here on the left. So it should look like this. Now switch over to the black wool and fill in this empty space here with the black wool. Now let's switch back over to the cyan. Let's head back to the three coal blocks here, starting on the right side of it. Place two cyans going across the right, so that's one and two. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and with the gray wool we're going to fill in this single large empty space here, staying within the outline. We're just going to fill this in with the gray wool. Let's do that now. Not going to time lapse it. It's still not large enough for me to actually time lapse it. If there's multiple small spaces or kind of large spaces, then I'll time lapse it. But not for this part. And one more row to go. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be finishing this empty space here. The, <laughs> the video is long enough as it is. But I'll continue to truck on until uh, I'll have to pause at some point. Okay, so now what we're going to do is move over here to the left, now that we fill that area in. And I want you to find this area here, where we have these seven coal blocks going across, and we have the two blocks here, the seven there, and every which way. It's not too far from where we left off, but find these seven coal blocks here that are going across. We're going to switch over to the light gray wall, place one light gray wall on the right side of these seven coal blocks, so place one there. Again, I'll fly back a bit if you need reference. That's where we place the light gray wall, right there, and for whatever reason there's some stupid shadow glitch. Let me see if I can get rid of it. And, woo, I got rid of it on the first try, nice. Okay, now that we have this light gray wall here on the right side of the seven coals, we're going to switch back over to the black wall. Starting on the right side of the light gray wall, place one black wall there. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to quickly switch over to the blue stained clay. Switch to the blue stained clay. Let's move back over here to this one black wall, starting on the right side of it. You're going to be placing three blue stained clays going across to the right. It's one, two, three. Now let's switch to the obsidian. So switching to the obsidian now. We're going to fill in this single empty space here with the obsidian block, so let's do that now. A lot of blue, or at least dark blue that I like to see it as. Even though it's mainly purple, but I use it as a dark blue. It works. Alright, so now that we've got this part filled in, the next part that we're going to start working on is this 
part right here, the small space. And to do that, we're going to first let's put this block away. We're going to switch over to the cyan. Now with the cyan, we're going to move to these four black walls going across, starting on top of the right block of the four blocks. So starting from there, you're going to hug the outline going all the way up until you stop underneath that black wall. Hug it with the cyan. So that's blocks going up to the left. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block and fill in this empty space here with the stone. And now that we've got this part filled in, we're going to work over here on this empty space. We're going to switch over to the stone block and with the stone starting on top of this uh this uh, this cold block on the left side of these blocks here, starting from there. You're just going to do the same thing you did with the cyan. We're going to hug the outline with the stone block going all the way up to the left. So just hug the outline with the stone and stop like that. Now switch over to the black wall and fill in this empty space here with the black wall. And as you can tell, I am speeding up a little bit, just so we can get most of this done. Now let's switch over to the cyan, and let's start working over here on this empty kind of space that goes up there. But we're going to start on top of the left block of these coal blocks, starting right there with the cyan. You're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch back over to the stone block, and we're going to start on top of this coal block. Now starting on top of this coal block, we're going to hug the outline of the black wool going all the way up and stopping underneath that coal block. So let's hug the outline with the stone block. So it should look like this. Now, while we're with the stone block, we're going to move back up here. So from this area that we just hugged the outline, we're just going to move up a little bit to the right. And we're going to start underneath this coal block there. So starting from there, just place two stone blocks going across to the left. So that's one and two. As you can see, it closes off this area here. Now let's switch over to the gray wool. With the gray wool, we're going to move over here to these two coal blocks going across. That is making contact with the... Uh, outline that we hugged with the stone. So starting underneath this cold block with the gray wool, place two gray wools going down. That's one, two. And you're also going to be placing another two gray wools going down on the right. That's one, two. And then place one block going down to the right. That's one. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the black wall, and we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wall, and then we're also going to be filling in these small spaces here with black wall. So do that now. There we go. Now that we've got that area finished uh i say we go down here this area is just has remained empty and needs to be filled in so we're going to switch to the stone block and start working on this area we're going to start down here to the three black walls find these three black walls going across and the ones that have the two blocks going down underneath it underneath the middle blocks so are going to these three black walls starting on the top of the left blocks starting from right there what you're going to do is just hug the outline of the black wall going all the way up and stopping underneath that one black wall so starting from there just hug the outline with the stone block that is so it should look like this next we're going to switch over to the black wall and going back over here to where we started with the stone, place one black wall on the right side of the stone. So place one black wall there. Switch over to the gray wall, place one gray wall on top of this one black wall, and one gray wall on the right side of this black wall. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan. So let's switch over to the cyan. And let's move over here to the next level down, where we find these two black walls going across. Now, starting on top of the right block of the two black walls here, so starting from there, 
place three cyans going up. That's one, two, three. And now place one block going up on the left. That's one. Now two blocks going up on the left. One, two. Now you're going to place one block going up on the left. That's one. Alright, next we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool starting on top of these two cyans, you're going to place two gray wools going up. That's one, two. Now starting from the bottom block of the two grays, so starting from that block, you're going to be placing two blocks going down to the right. That's one, two. Now one block going down to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And then one block going down to the right. That's one. So it should look like this. I'm seriously losing my voice here. I'm going to have to stop. I'm sorry. I won't be able to finish this. This is just going to have to wait for another next part. But we're just going to finish this part. Alright, so we're going to switch to the cyan. And starting underneath the two gray wools that we placed here. That went down. You're going to be placing two cyans going down. So that's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the stone block. And let's head back down here to the three black wolves going across, starting on top of the left block of these three. In other words, starting from the very bottom part of this empty space. So starting right there with the stone block, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three. Now we are going to switch over to the light gray wool. Where are you? There we, where are you? There we go. And we're going to continue the path. So starting on top of that black wool, place two light gray wools going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. Switch back over to the stone block. Starting on top of this black wool, place two stone blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. And now we are going to fly back up here to where we had the two gray wools here going up on top of these two cyans. And what we're going to do is switch over to the placement block, starting from the top block on the right side, place two placement blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool starting on the right side of the placement block, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. And now place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And now one block going down to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan stain clay, starting on the left or the right side of this one gray wool. Starting from there, you're just going to hug the outline of the gray wool going up to the left. So that's just hugging the outline. Going up to the left, so it should look like this. Essentially, we just matched it with the same amount of blocks. Okay. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool. With the black wool starting on the right side of the science, you're just going to be placing one black wool there. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. And now one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now let's switch back to the stone block. So let's switch to the stone. And starting on the right side of the two black wools here, with the stone, you're going to add two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And now starting on the left side of these two black wools, so from there, you're going to be placing 11 stone blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now we're going to fill in this empty space here 
with the stone block. So let's do that now. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. Whoops, didn't mean to drop that. Switching over to the gray wall, we're going to start underneath this cyan stained clay. So starting right there with this gray wall. You're going to be, or not not the cyan, we're going to start underneath this black wall. I got that confused. Starting underneath this one black wall with the gray wall, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And now we're going to be switching over to the cyan and place one cyan on top of this gray wall. So place one there. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, and with the stone block starting on the right side of the cyan, so starting right there with the stone, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And then two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now let's head back over here, and we're going to fill in these three empty spaces that we left behind with the stone block. So it should look like this. And now we are going to switch over to the black wool. And while you're doing this, you can go ahead and start filling in this single empty space. As you can see, this is just one giant empty space. It kind of loops around all of this. This is not being cut off by anything. This is just one large single empty space. You're going to fill in that large empty space. Same within the outline with black one while I take a sip of water. All right. So let's fill this in. You probably already have a head start. You're probably halfway done filling it in with black wool. But uh, I'll show you just for the sake of it. And by the way, I'm not going to stop. I gave you my word. Kind of, not really. Saying that we're going to complete the bottom part of this outline. So don't worry. Even though my voice is killing me, I will continue and instruct you filling in those remaining parts that we left up there. So don't worry, there's a total of three parts left, uh, this being one of them. So after this one, there's only two more parts left. And don't worry, I'm not going to have you wait weeks on end like I did previously. You're going to see the next part come out, uh, in fact, this week, this this very week. So you're not going to have to wait next week or anything like that. Because believe me, I want to get this done as much as you do. I want to get this over with. So then you can have a pixel art, I can be done with a tutorial, everyone's happy. And there we go. We are done filling in that part, so it should look like that. You can pause the video if you have to, just to compare. And now we have uh, a good portion of this still left. Uh, I don't think I finished outlining it. I think I did, actually. So all we really have to do is just add a lot of details here and there. So we might as well tackle the giant one. Oh, better yet, we'll tackle this one. This is the this one I'm dreading right here, because there's a lot of blocks that are going diagonal. So, we're going to start from here, we're going to start at the very bottom. So, starting down here, we're going to switch over to the or you, the stone block. Now, what we're going to do for this, starting on top of this black wool, all you're going to do is just hug the outline of this black wool going all the way up until you stop underneath this one black wool. So, that's all we're going to be doing with the stone block. So, let's just hug the outline with the stone. So, it should look like this. And now while we're with the stone, we're going, uh, yeah, we're also going to be filling in uh, th these empty spaces here. Just these spaces here between the black wall with stone. So fill those in. And once you've done that, we're going to, da, 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 hmm, I also kind of want to get that part filled in, but I guess that's going to have to wait until we go over there. All right, so let's go back down here to this next empty space because we're going to work in sections. Or so this is going to be filled in, then this, then this, then this, and etc. You get it. So we're going to start off by switching to the cyan stained clay and place one block there on top of that black wool. Then we're going to switch back over to the gray wool and place one gray wool next to the cyan on the left. Now that we have this one gray wool starting on top of this black wool, we're going to be placing three gray wools going up. That's one, two, three. 
now you're going to be placing a linked two blocks going up on the left. A linked two. That's one, two. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. One, two. And now place five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay. And we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here that we left between the gray wool and the stone block. And we're also going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here between the black wool and the gray wool. And if you've noticed, my voice is better because I took a break. Yep, I pretty much paused the entire thing and took a break. I don't know how long. A couple hours? Maybe two, three hours? I'm not sure. But I took a break and I feel a lot better. And we're ready to finish all of this. So when you're done filling it in with the cyan, it should look like this. Now we are going to move to the next part, which is over here to the left of this empty space here. What we're going to be doing for this, we're going to be switching over. Uh, well, we didn't really have to switch over to anything. We'll stay with the cyan, and we're going to fill in the remaining empty space here between the gray wool and the black wool. Just fill in this space with the cyan stained clay. Let's fill all of this up. And once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wool and then fill in this empty space here along with that single space there with the gray wool. So let's fill this up. And it should look like this. Now remember to fill in that single space that I showed you. All right. Now that we've done that, da -da, it does look like I did forget something down here because th there is supposed to be something here. So, whoops, I made a mistake. That's fine. It's fixable. We're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay. And let's go to this one black wool, to the area that we just finished filling in. And all you're going to do is destroy two of these blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two. So we're just destroying blocks at this moment. So from here, we're just going to destroy a block or two or three that go diagonal up to the left. So this being the first one, that's one, two, and three. So it should look like that, kind of destroying that one as well. So you can pause the video now. So make you know you can make sure it looks like this, all that stuff. And then once we've uh, gotten rid of those grays, we're just going to fill in this small empty space here with the cyan. And once we've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool and fill in this empty space here with the light gray wool. Now we are going to move up here to this single empty space. And you're just going to fill this in with the light gray wool there. And then place another light gray wool underneath this black wool. And then switch over to the stone block and place a stone block underneath the light gray wool. Now we're going to switch back over to the light gray wool, and we're going to finish filling this area here with the light gray wool. So let's finish filling this up. Alright, now that we have that full of just light gray wool, we're going to switch over to the black wool, and let's move down here to the four black wools going across. We're going to start from the right block, so from that block you're going to count two blocks into the left. This is one, and this is two. We're going to start on top of this block, so starting from there on top of that block you're going to be placing just going up to the going up to the left you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left side so that's one two one and one two two i place a linked two blocks going up on the left side that's one two and i'll place two blocks going up on the left one, two. And then place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now starting on top of the right block of the two black wools going across, so starting on top of this black wool here, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Starting underneath this one black wool, place two gray wools going down. So that's one, two. 
Switch over to the cyan and place one cyan underneath this black wall, so that's one. Then switch over to the stone and place one stone block underneath the cyan, so place one stone block there. Now we're going to move directly underneath this black wall, and starting underneath it, you're going to place two stone blocks going down. That's one, two. Switch over to the black wall, and underneath the stone block, you're going to be placing two black walls going down. So that's one, and two. And now you're going to place two blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two. And then place one black wall going down on the right. That's one. So it should look like that. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block. We're going to move up here and fill in this space with stone. So fill this with stone. And then we're going to switch over to the light gray wall and move to this area and fill this space here with the light gray. So it should look like that. Now with the light gray, we're going to move to the right and then fill in this empty space here, all of it, with the light gray wall. So it's finish filling this part in so it should look like this now we are going to switch back over to the black wool and let's head down here to where we have these linked two coal blocks that are going up so starting from the top block of the two so from there you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left side so that's one two one and one two two Now we're going to switch over to the stone block and place one stone block on top of the black wall, so that's one. Then switch over to the cyan and place one cyan on top of the stone block, so that's one. Now let's switch back over to the black wall. Now starting on the right side of the cyan, so starting from right there, you're going to be placing four black walls going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, Four. That's four blocks, so it should look like that. Now place two blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two. Now one block going up on the right side. That's one. And now place five blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, one. And one, two, two. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And now you're going to place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. Let's switch over to the stone blocks quickly and fill in these two empty spaces here with stone. And now we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to move to this area here, this single space that's making contact with all of these blocks down here. So just this single empty space here gets filled in with the black wool, staying within the outline. So let's fill this in with black. And once we've finished filling this in with the black wool, what we're going to do next is switch over to the light gray wool, and let's move down here. We're going to fill, let's see, yeah, we're going to finish filling this in with the light gray wool. So let's fill this in with the light gray wool. So it should look like this. And now for the next step, we'll, let's see, we'll go with, oh, something over here. Remaining with the light gray wool, we're going to also finish filling this empty space here with the light gray wool. So let's finish filling this in. And once we fill that, filled in uh, that area, let's see, we're going to switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, let's fill in this empty space here with 
the stone block. So, oh, by the way, this one, I forgot. This small empty space over here, all the way to the bottom right corner, it gets filled in with the cyan. So let's just fill that in with cyan. And now let's switch over to the stone and then fill in the remaining large space here with the stone block. I could time lapse this part, but uh, I'm not going to. Even though the video is already long enough as it is, I don't think saving a few seconds is going to help it. Not at this point, anyways. Alright, let's get down here and start filling it from down here. Oops. By the way, if you're watching this and have gotten to this point, then the Pawu video should be out. And if you want to request a brand new pixel art tutorial in the future, make sure to go watch that Pawu video. Alright. So now that we've finished filling this area in, we can also, let's go over here while we're at it. We can switch over to the black wool, and this empty space here with just coal, this gets filled in with the black wool. Let's finish filling this in. There we go. And now we get to work on this nightmare. So let's go down here, and we'll start off with the cyan. So let's switch to that cyan. And let's start from these three black holes. Oh, oh, not these three black holes, but these three coal blocks that are going diagonal down to, or not down to, uh, that are going up to the left. So with the cyan, starting from that coal block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up to the left. That's one, two. And I'll place two sets of threes going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And now you're going to place four blocks going up on the left side. That's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the black wool, and we're going to head back over to the first set of the two sets of threes. So going to the first set of threes, starting from the bottom block on the left side of it. So from there, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. And I'll place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one. And two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. Now with the black wall, we're going to fill yeah, we're going to fill in this empty space here, along with that single space that we left there. We're going to fill that in with the black wall. So let's fill this in. And there we go. Now let's switch to the, well not switch, we'll stay with the black wool, and we're, we're going to head back up here to where we had the four cyans going up, starting on top of the four cyans, so from there, you're going to be placing five black wools going diagonal up to the left, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool, and we're just going to be placing five blocks going diagonal on top of the five gray wool. So it's just hugging the outline on top, so it should look like that. Just placing gray wools on top of the five. Alright, and with the light gray wool, going back to this black wool here, starting on the left side of it. So from there, place three blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. And then place three blocks going up on the left side. So, whoops, that's one, two, three, it's alright, we'll use that as temporary. So it should look like this. And now we're also going to fill it in here, this small space with the light gray wall. Now we are going to switch it up, let's switch to the placement block and put a placement block underneath the right block of these three light gray walls, place one placement block there. Then you're going to switch over to the cyan stained clay and starting underneath the placement block, place two blocks going, it's actually going to be two sets, so it's going to be two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And I'll place one block going up on the left side. That's one. And now seven blocks going up on the left side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block and put a placement block on the right side of this cyan. Then we're going to switch over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool starting on top of the placement block, you're going to place three blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to be starting on top of this cyan. So from there, you're just going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. And now place three blocks going down on the left. One, two, three. So it should look like this so far. Now let's switch over to the black wool and we'll finish, yeah, we'll finish filling this empty space here with black wool, including that small space there. So just this space and this space gets filled in with black wool. There we go. Now let's switch over to the cyan. And with the cyan, we're going to be placing one block on top of the middle block of the three gray walls going across. So place one block there. Now switch over to the stone block. Place one stone block on the right side of this one cyan. So place one stone block there. Now starting on top of the stone block, or I should say starting on top of the cyan, you're going to be placing two stone blocks going up. So that's one and two. Now let's switch over to the black wool and finish filling this in with the black wool. So it should look like this. Now we are going to move down here. We're going to switch over to the gray wool. With the gray wool, we're going to fill in this empty space here with the gray wool. So let's fill this in. And once we've finished filling that in we're going to switch over to the stone block and fill in this space here with stone and it should look like this so far let's move up going up here to these coal blocks that are also next to this black wall we're going to switch over to the white wall so let's switch over to the white wall Starting next to this black wall right there, you're going to be placing three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And then six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's switch over to the cyan. And with the cyan... Starting next to the white wall, so from there, you're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to place two blocks going down on the left. One, two. Now place three blocks going down on the left. One, two, three. And now place five blocks going down on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to switch over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool starting underneath the cyan, the five cyan here, so from there, you're going to be placing five gray wools going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool, and we're going to move back up here to where we started off with the five diagonal. Uh, starting on the right side of the cyan, you're just going to be placing it two light gray wools going across, so that's one, two. And then place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right, one, two. Then one block going down to the right, that's one. Then two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And then one block going down to the right. That's one. Now we're going to start down here because we can see that there's three empty spaces that we created from this one large space. So we're going to start down here. We're going to switch over to the black wool. 
And with the black wall, we're going to... Actually, I could time-lapse this. Why don't I just time-lapse this? Sure. Pay close attention to what I'm going to be instructing you. First, this bottom area here gets filled in with t uh, the black wool. So this gets filled in with black wool. Once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the stone block. And with the stone, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the stone. And then once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And you're going to fill in this single space here with the light gray wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we are going to move up here to this next area, and we're going to switch over to the gray wool for this. Now starting with the gray wool, starting from uh, that black wool there, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right with gray, so that's one. Now two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two. Now switch over to the cyan, starting on the right side of the gray, you're going to place four cyans going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Now switch to the gray, and place one gray wool on the right of the cyan, so place one there. Let's switch back over to the cyan, and fill in this empty space here with the cyan. Once you've done that, let's head back over here to the... These are the 14, by the way, these are the 14 black wools here. We're going to start underneath the right block of the 14 by placing one gray wool underneath it. Then we're going to switch over to the cyan and place on the right side of it, place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. Let's switch back over to the gray wool starting underneath the right block of the three cyan. So from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, and three. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. Now we can switch over to the black wool, and with the black wool, we're going to fill in this whole empty space here, staying within the outline. We're going to fill that in with the black wool. So let's do that now. Doesn't look like I have much to go. Just a good portion of it. We definitely got, I believe we got a lot more done in this part than the previous part. And you can also look forward to the next part of this within this week. So you don't have to wait another week. Like I, I think I mentioned that before. All right. So now that we filled that in with the black wool, what we're going to do next is move over here. Remaining with the black wool. So let's just switch this around a bit. So remaining with the black wool, let's head over here to these uh, coal blocks. We're going to start underneath this one black, or when this this one coal block with the black wool, you're going to place four blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now I'll place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. One and two. Switch over to the gray wool and place one gray wool on top of the left block of these two coals. Place one gray wool there. Now we're going to let's before we switch, let's switch back to the black wool and let's fill in the empty spaces that we left behind here with the black wool. Now that we've done that, let's head back down here, and we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. So let's switch to that block. And with the light gray wool, let's move to these two black wools, starting from the left block of these two black wools. So from there, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Now place one block going up. Or not one block. Place two blocks. Place two blocks going up on the left. One, two. And now one block going up on the left. That's one. Now place two blocks going up on the left. One, two. And now place one block going up on the left. That's one. And now place four blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four. 
Now we're also going to move to this coal block here, and from that coal block, you're just going to place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. So it should look exactly like this. Let's head back down here to where we started with the light gray wool. We're going to switch over to the cyan, and with the cyan, we're going to finish filling in these two first empty spaces here. Just this space and this space with the cyan. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the gray wool, and then we're going to fill in the remaining empty spaces that go up to the left with the gray wool. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan, and from this empty space here, we're going to move over here and find these four black wools going across. It's kind of in the middle of this empty space, but we're going to start on top of this black wool there. You're just going to hug the outline of it going all the way up to the left. So let's just hug the outline with the cyan and stop right there. And while we're here, we can also go up to the next level and just place one cyan right here on top of this black wool. So place one cyan there. Now let's head back down here, and we're going to switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, we're going to fill in the remaining empty space that we left here with the stone block. So let's do that now. And once you have finished filling in this space here, we're going to work on this area, which is just a mess of blocks, but we've got most of them done. We're going to start off by switching over to the cyan, and let's head back to these three gray wools going across, starting on the top of the left block of the three. So from there, you're going to be placing three cyans going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Now switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, we're going to do the exact same thing we did right here. Just place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Switch over to the light gray wool. The exact same thing happens now. So that's one, two, three. It shouldn't be too hard at all to follow this. Now we are going to switch over to the white wool, and guess what? The exact same thing. One, two, three. Now we are going to switch to the white, or just remain with the white wool, I should say. Let's move to this one light gray wool. On top of it, you're going to place two white wools going up. That's one, or two white wools. That's one and two. Now let's switch over to the snow block. And with the snow, fill in the remaining space here with snow. And it should look like that. Now let's switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone, let's move over here. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with the stone. Let's fill this in. Now let's switch over to the white wool. Going over here on top of this black wool next to this light gray wool, you're going to place two white wools going up, so that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the snow block, starting on top of this black wool, place two snow blocks going across to the right, that's one, two. Switch over to the white wool, starting on top of this black wool, you're going to be placing two white wools going up, that's one, two. Switch over to the snow block, fill in this empty space here along with this single space with snow. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool, and starting on top of this black wool, place two light gray wools going up. That's one and two. Now switch over to the stone block and fill in the remaining space here with stone. So it should look like this. As you can see, there is a lot of detail that goes into this pixel art. And not just this pixel art, many pixel arts that I do. Now let's go up here to this next area. Again, it's just a nightmarish area, just because of the type of blocks we're going to be using. Let's switch over to the gray wool. With the gray wool starting at the very bottom left corner of this entire space. So from there, just place one gray wool. And then place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. 
Switch over to the cyan, starting next to this one gray wool from there. Place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now switch over to the stone block, fill in this space here with stone. Switch over to the light gray wool, and place one light gray wool on top, if I can find, there we go, on top of this black wool and next to the cyan. So just place, just place one light gray wool there. Now switch to the white wool, and starting on top of this black wool, place two blocks going up. That's one and two with white. And we're going to move over here to the right and place one white wool on top of this black wool. Let's place one there. Now switch over to the, where are you, the snow block and fill in this empty space here with snow. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, starting on top of this black wool, place three blocks going up. One, two, three. And then you're going to be placing one light gray wool on top of this black wool. Let's so place one block there. Now switch over to the light blue stained clay, the blue stained clay and the obsidian starting off with the light blue stained clay on top of this light gray wool place two light blues going up that's one two moving over here to this black wool place two light gray wool or light blue stained clays going up that's one and two now switch over to the blue stained clay starting on top of this black wool place two blocks going up that's one two then you're going to place one block on top of this block here. So place one block there. Now let's move over here. And on top of this black wall, you're going to be placing one blue stained clay. So place one there. Now we get to switch over to the obsidian and fill in the remaining empty space that's here with obsidian. And it should look like this. Oh, man, we're almost there. Almost. All right, let's head back over here to the left. We're going to switch over. We're going to put these blocks away first and then switch over to these blocks. Uh, okay, we're going to switch to the light gray wool. With the light gray wool going over here to the left, we're going to finish filling in all of these empty spaces here, just these small spaces here with the light gray wool. So fill that in. And now we're going to switch over to the white wool. And with the white starting on top of the middle block of these three black walls going across, starting from there, you're going to be placing three sets of twos going up to the right. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I said with white wool. I didn't realize I had the... didn't realize I had the light gray wool. Okay, there we go. That's one. I still doing it. Again. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. I knew it was like. Oh, I knew it was white wool. It's just that I just dummy and didn't have it equipped. All right. So that's three sets of twos with white. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool. Moving over here to this black wool right there, on top of it, you're going to be placing two light gray wools going up, so that's one, two. Switch back over to the white, and fill in this space and this space here with the white wool. Once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray wool and finish filling in the remaining empty spaces here between the black wool and the, uh, the white wool with the light gray wool. So finish filling this in with light gray wool. So it should look like this. Now we are going to switch over to the stone block. And from this empty space, we're just going to move to the bottom right corner and place two stone blocks going across on top of these two black walls. So that's one, two. And also place one stone block on top of the right stone. So place one block there. Now switch over to the cyan. Fill in this single space here with cyan. 
Now switch over to the light gray wall and fill in this empty space here with the light gray wall. Now that we're done with that part, we're going to move down here to this next section. We're going to switch over to the cyan stain clay. Moving to the bottom right corner of this area, so down here, starting from there. You're just going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two. Now two blocks going up on the right. One, two. And then one block going up to the right. That's one. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to move up here to this one black wool that's above the uh, cyan. So moving to this one black wool, starting on the left side of it, so starting from right there with the light gray wool, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, and four. Now place two blocks going down on the left side. One, two. And now one block going down to the left. That's one. Now let's switch over to the stone block and fill in this space here with stone. And now we're going to switch over to the white wool. Now with the white wool, we're going to start all the way down here, going to the bottom left corner. We're going to hug the outline. Starting from there, we're going to hug all of the outline until we make contact with this light gray wool here. So let's just hug the outline of the black wool going up to the right with the white wool. And it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool and fill in the remaining space here with the light gray wool. And now that we've finished filling in this empty space, we're going to work on the remaining two empty spaces. I was, I was going to try to connect this, but uh, I can't really be bothered. We'll save that for the next part. All right, so we only have two more empty spaces to go, so we'll start here. Uh, we'll switch over to the snow block for this next part. So let's switch to the snow. Now with the snow block, let's start at the very bottom left corner. Starting on top of actually this black wall on the right, actually. this We're just going to be placing one snow block, so that's one. Now on top of this black wall, you're going to be placing, uh, let's see... Two sets of fours, just two sets of fours going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. And now three blocks going up on the left. One, two, three. And then one block going up to the right. That's one. Now we're going to move back down here, and let's move to these four black wolves going across here. They're making contact with these two black wolves. So moving to these four black wolves here, we're going to start from the right block. So starting from there, you're going to count two blocks into the left. This is being the first block that you count. This is one, and this is two. Now starting on top of it, so from there, you're going to be placing one snow block. Now from that one snow block, place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place two sets of fours going up on the left. Two sets of fours. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. Now switch over to the white wool and fill in this single space here with the white wool. And now that we fill in that empty space, we're, we're going, let's see, what we're going to do is switch over to the light gray wool. And we're going to move to the top right corner of this part. So starting from right there, you're going to be placing two blocks going across to the left. That's one, two. And then one block going down to the left. That's one. And now, starting underneath this black wall with the light gray wall, so starting from there, right there, you're going to be placing five blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five. And now place four blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's switch this around. And now place two blocks going down on the right. One, two. Now we're going to switch over to the white wool and fill in the remaining empty spaces that we left behind here, including this space here, with the white wool. That's only between the snow and the light gray wool. Let's fill them in with white. It should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, and let's head back up here to where we had that one light gray wool. With the stone block, you're just going to hug the outline until you hit the black wool down there with the stone. So just hug the outline so it should look like this. Now let's go to the bottom right corner. On top of this black wool, you're going to hug the outline until you reach the bottom part of these black wool here. So we're going to stop right there. So hug the outline of the black with stone, and it should look like this. Now I'll switch over to the cyan and fill in this space here with the cyan stained clay. And all we have left now is this empty space to work on, which is going to get split up in three empty spaces. All right, uh, we'll start all the way over here at the bottom right corner. We're going to switch over to the gray wool for this part. So switching over to the gray, starting on top of the coal block that's right here. You're going to be placing, just going across to the right, obviously, just two gray wools going across, so that's one, two. And then place one gray wool on top of the left block, so place one gray wool there. Now we're going to, uh, let's see, switch to the placement block and put a placement block on top of this coal block. So place one placement block there. Switch over to the gray wool starting on the left side of the placement block. So from there you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. So it should look like that. Now fill in this empty space down here with the gray wool. Now, starting from this gray wool here, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now switch over to the black wool and fill in this empty space, including that small space down there with the black wool. There we go. Now let's switch back over to the gray wool. Let's move to these five black wools going across. We're going to start on top of the right black wool. Starting from there, you're going to be placing two gray wools going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the left side. That's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Now we are going to switch over to the black wool and finish uh, filling in this single empty space with black wool. I keep saying finish, that's getting annoying. So uh, fill in that with black wool and fill in this empty space here with the black wool. Alright, there we go. Now let's switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, starting from here, next to this black wool, starting from there, you're just going to hug the outline of the black wool going all the way up and stopping underneath that cold block there. So hug the outline with the light gray wool. And it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the gray wool and fill in the remaining two spaces here with the gray wool. And we are completely done with Ultron, the bottom part of Ultron, his neck and armor and whatnot. All that's left is Ultron's face. I mean, should I continue? You guys probably would want me to continue, but at this point, I'm exhausted. Uh, I'll do a little, I'll do something cheeky. I'll do a little two blocks going diagonal. 
So if we move to these two coal blocks here with the black wool, starting from there, we're just going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. There we go. That was a little extra thing. But Felix, connected, please. Never! <laughs> You're just going to have to wait until the next part. All right, so I am going to stop here. I'm going to pause here. Now, be on the lookout for the next part. It is going to be released within this week. So make sure to check that out so we can go ahead and finish the bottom face, the bottom part of the Ultron, and then the last part will be the top. So as you can see, there is a lot of detail that goes into the pixel art. So I do appreciate you guys supporting me and supporting the channel, doing all that blah, 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 boring stuff. Now remember, there is a new Powwoo video that will be released after this. So if, again, if you're watching this, it's probably out. And if you want your voice heard for a new future pixel art tutorial, then you're going to want to check that out and leave your request in the comment section of that video. Not this video. Don't leave your request in pixel art tutorials. Leave it in the Powwoo videos. So... With all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next part, which is probably in two days. Maybe even tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Springtrap. Five Nights of Phrase. All right. <laughs> see you next time, guys.